Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. It is Saturday and I'm here at the San Clemente outlet for the weekly South OC Cars and Coffee. And uh, I've got to turn the camera around and check it out. Cars are coming in. It's a beautiful day, 68 degrees right now. And I have a feeling it's gonna be a sold out show. Okay. <laughs> Cars and Coffee Merchandise Store. They got some new t-shirt designs out here too. They look very nice. You should check it out at the, uh, the official web store. Alright, let's just start here at Row one supercar row. We have oh Simon is back. His Cormel has been uh, retuned and redone, and it's making more power than ever, like over 800 horsepower at the wheel. So, mine oh mine. Yeah, and next to it is uh, son James's Cormel. You know, also yeah, also Cormel or a different supercharger that he used, he uses a Paxton supercharger. I mean, a Vortex Supercharger. Yeah. And that uses a Whipple. Here we have the uh, Audi R8 Spider. Jay is back with his Ford GT. And a Toro Tire C8 Corvette. That's, uh, oh my words. Oh yeah, I've seen this Corvette before. Yeah. Yeah, this one is slammed to the ground. It has, it's on air ride suspension. And he made some updates since then. He added a giant wing to it. Check out this wing. Wow. Yeah. Check out the wing. And the, uh, the Bola exhaust system. We can see the Toyo tires. It's got the body kit on there as well. Yeah, and yeah. Met him last time. Toxic Garage. So check him out on Instagram. Pretty wild. Yeah, that's it. It's just touching the ground. <laughs> and we have a, a very feminine Porsche 911. Uh, I think she's for the movie Cars. And here we have a yellow Porsche 911. Ferrari, California. Lamborghini. Aventador Roaster, Lamborghini Aventador Coupe, a crazy psychedelic Oracon, and next to it another Oracon. This one is rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive version. Ferrari F360, Lamborghini Murcielago, Murcielago. Yeah. With the E gears, AMG GT R, nice blue, and next to it is the AMG GT Spider, or convertible. Another Corvette. This one is relatively stock. And Ferrari 812 with the yellow stripe, very nice. Uh, a couple more Porsches here. And this is the Audi's RX-6 station wagon. Yeah. Pretty good looking station wagon. Not an Audi R8. What's your GT4? These spaces are reserved for other supercars that are probably in the lineup. And over there we see the, uh, the Volkswagen section. So lots of bugs and micro buses. Nissan GTR. Mm -hmm. And a really, really nice uh, livery on this uh, Ford GT here. Yeah, it's a new Ford GT. I mean, look at the detail on the uh, headlights there. You see the word GT right on there? And the, uh, you can see the, the carbon exposed on the number nine. Yeah, I tried to sat in, I sat in this car 
and uh, my head hits the roof. I don't fit the car. It, it's really, really tight. Really, really tight in there. It's not made for tall people. And, and check out the detail on this uh, turn signal. With the exhaust port. It matches the uh, acrophobic exhaust here, the titanium exhaust. Yeah. Yeah, look at the engine there. And over here we have the Porsche 911 Targa. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy mechanism that opens this and the top still here. This pop windshield pops, um, this back window pops up. The top goes over this hoop. And yeah, it's pretty nuts. And we see driving in, we have a Noble, a British Noble. Tri-level Porsches here, 928, AMG GT, some Ford Mustangs. Get a nice variety of cars at e every week at the show. Anything ranging from uh, super exotic to uh, more pedestrian car, even even minivans. Yeah. Check out this Jeep with the uh, the Magnum V8. Yeah, that's more than enough power for this thing. And here's a, uh, a nice uh, Chevy with a LS motor. Basically, a Bel Air being powered by a Corvette motor. Pretty well done. I mean, nice interior and everything. Wow. Really well done. Over here we have the Corvette section, and over there we have the uh, the Lexus section. <laughs> this is a Roche supercharged Mustang. Couple of vintage Mustang over here, and, and check out this truck. Check out this truck here. Looks like a beat up, beat up pickup truck. But oh my word, look at that! That's a my word. Look at that. the exhaust. There's no muffler. You see the exhaust just comes right out here, right out here. I mean, that's what I call a power dump. Yeah, that's crazy. That is nuts. Look at that shifter and his right hand drive. Yeah, this here is my pick for call of the week. Wow. Now that's a big supercharger. <laughs> with, with two four barrel carburetors. Yeah, you need a hole on the hood because it just sticks right out. <laughs> Crash net, racing net. Yeah, oh, the wheelie bar. Yes, you need the wheelie bar. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah, this is set up for life at a quarter mile at a time. So here we have my old Jaguar, and then next to it is the updated Jaguar with the new nose design. So there's a light went into a little sliver where you see the old model. The, the light looks like that. So looking at both of them, hmm, I'm not sure if it's an improvement or not. What is an improvement is the uh, engine bay on his 928. Nice. Yeah. Cars looking for spots to park. 
Today is a sold out show. I believe he's measuring the depth of his paint. So he can see how much he has to take off to do waxing and buffing and stuff like that. But that's a uh, stock NSX. And here's a modified NSX. Big wings and all. A couple of dune buggies here. We have the Volkswagen version and this thing. Now that is awesome. I mean, the front tire is like a motorcycle tire. I like it. I wouldn't fit it, but I like it. All right, check out this uh, Tesla Model 3 on Air Rise. So you can see it slammed to the ground. It actually, <laughs> yeah, it's got a body kit on there. So you can see the, uh, the carbon fiber rear section, the carbon fiber spoiler. And uh, if you want to follow him on Instagram, there's his Instagram. Yeah, but it's touching the ground right now. I can see uh, a wrap on the interior pieces as well. And, and check it out, there's his air compressor for the air ride system, cleverly disguised as an energizer battery. Love it. BMW section. BMW club, lots of BMWs. Here we are at the end of the lot and cars are still looking for parking space because the end of the lot is totally full. So uh, those Porsches just went by, they're going downstairs. If you like Nissan GTRs, this is the section right here. This is like a Nissan GTR dealership right now. Nothing but GTRs. Yeah, last week it was a Cadillac takeover. This week is a Nissan GTR takeover. A lot of people are gathered around this car because this is a very special car. This is a Bugatti, a vintage Bugatti. Check it out. And done in the Bugatti blue. Have you got any bugs in your face yet? I mean, I don't know exactly how you're going to get your feet in there. It's so tight. I, my feet will not fit inside that thing. I figure one foot on the on the driver's side, one foot on the passenger side is how I'll be driving. Yeah, that, that, that is nuts. And, and, and next to this Bugatti is a, a Lamborghini that has been graffiti all over. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a soccer mom took her Lamborghini to an inner city school and this is what the kids did to it. Yeah, yeah, good thing this is a wrap. At least I hope this is a wrap because uh, because this, thing, this is not coming off. Oh, look. Oh, and I, ha I have found the vandals. There you go. There they are, the vandals who are vandalizing the Lamborghini. <laughs> I have video evidence. Someone needs to arrest her. Okay, reading some of these comments are hilarious. <laughs> okay, I think uh, we'll call the show there at the uh, the kids vandalizing the Lamborghini. Yeah. Anyway, uh, South OC Cars and Coffee happens every Saturday from nine to eleven. And uh, the show is free. It's kid friendly, it's uh, pet friendly. And once in a while, you may find a Lamborghini where you kick and draw all over. Anyway, uh, if you're in the cars, come check out the show. It's, it's a lot of fun. Great way, to, uh, great way to just spend a nice sunny day, especially in South of California. Yeah. Yeah, all right, John Shop and JohnShop.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys. Next time.